Hi guys and welcome in another DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to talk about smart bins and how to use them in DaVinci Resolve 17. So let's get started. What are smart bins? So smart bins are different kinds of bins which you can use to filter your media based on some criteria. Smart bins should be visible here. If you don't see them you can enable it if you go to the view. Scroll down and, and click on the show smart bins. And now the smart bins are available, I'm in the media part of DaVinci Resolve 17 and I want to show some media over here. To do that you will select the folder and we can go with the add folder and subfolders in the media pool. Now it is asking whether I want to change the frame rate, we can go with the change for now because the frame rate is not the topic of this tutorial and I have a folder full of some renders I have made before. If I want to organize these videos in folders based on some criteria that is where the smart bins kick in. Let's say I want to filter all the flags of the countries and have them in in the smart bin then that is what I, I can do. Now to create a smart bin you go here in this area right click and add smart bin. Now you can rename it. I will go with match all and what I want to find is the keyword metadata so in the media pool properties I will scroll down and find the keywords. And now here you can select different types of filter so I will go with contains I want to have that word and I will write it here and if I want to add more criteria, then you can go here, click on the plus sign, and you will choose another criteria that you want to filter this smart bin. But for this tutorial, I will just stick with one criteria. And if I hit create, we don't see any media here because none of the clips or media satisfies the condition. If I go back here, then we can see all the media we loaded. And now what we have to do, we need to update the metadata for all of the clips that we want to be in this smart bin. What I can do is see all the country flags, select this one and hold the control key and then select all of them. And now, if you don't see the metadata panel, that's, you can click over here. If you go here, I want to show all the groups, all the possible metadata for a one clip, and then scroll down and find the keyboard. So the keyword's metadata is right here. What I want to do is to put that keyword we entered in the smart bin. So let me show you that again. So if you right click on the smart bin and hit edit, you will see that we have this keyword. So I can copy it and then move again. I need to reselect all of them, all the clips that I want to have that keyword, and then go here and Ctrl V to paste that keyword. And now if I hit save, all the flags will have the country flag keyword. And if I select another clip, you'll see that the keyword is empty. Now if I go here, all those clips that have the country flag keyword are shown here. Basically, you can create any type of smart bins based on any criteria that you want. The smart bins are a very useful tool to better organize, especially if you have a big project. It will save you a lot of time. Now if you want to delete the smart bin, you can right click on it and select remove. You can open it as a new window and then move it on to a secondary monitor. You can rename it if you go right click rename, you can duplicate it and so on and so forth. And now the smart bin will be available in the edit page here, in the fusion page, in the fairlight page and wherever you need it. In short terms this is what smart bins are useful to. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you like this tutorial hit the like button. If you want to watch more DaVinci Resolve tutorials click on the card above. And with you guys see you in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching and bye. Dun 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 dun